In this video, we're going to introduce the concept of inverse variation. And if you see the phrase y varies inversely with x, or something varies inversely with something else, variables can change. That is inverse variation. Now, inverse variation, inverse to us, we know, and we should think of the word opposite whenever we hear the word inverse. And so that means as one variable increases, the other will decrease. They're going to have an opposite relationship with each other. And so our two brief introduction examples to take a look at what inverse variation looks like. We have y equals k over x to the n power, y equals k over x. You can see here it's going to create one in the numerator, one in the denominator, the constant in the numerator, the variable in the denominator. As elevation increases, temperature decreases. So you should know if you're flying an airplane, you start off at let's say sea level, your elevation is going to increase, the temperature in the air will decrease. And so therefore, those two variables, elevation and temperature, have an inverse relationship with each other. The longer you travel, the shorter the distance to your destination. So the further you go from where you start, the closer you are to where you want to finish. So that has an inverse relationship with each other as well. So inverse relationships as one variable increases, the other will decrease. It's represented by the form y equals k over x.